Ladies and gentlemen, if you were ever curious, what does a $7 million home look like in St. George in 2024? Here's your lucky chance. In today's video, we're going to check out parade home number one in the 2024 St. George area parade of homes. This home was built by KH Traveler and it can be yours. It was a complicated price at 6,875,000. This home is over 7,000 square feet, has four bedrooms and four and a half bathrooms. So I would imagine that everything inside is pretty grand. Let's go see it. There are three properties in Stone Cliff this year, and I'm a huge fan of Stone Cliff. And here's me behind the bush, and here's me behind the rock, and here's me behind another bush and a sign. Anyway, in this opening, I can tell you how much I truly love Stone Cliff because all these homes are so unique, and these views are absolutely breathtaking. Here's me behind the bush again. Here's me behind the rock. Okay, let's go inside. So it's all single level, 7,000 square feet. One thing that's great about a lot of homes in Stone Cliff is they have these grand entries and often it's a courtyard. This courtyard is built in, it's very functional. You have a garage on one side, the house on the other side. And here's where the shoe exchange happens. Hi, how you doing? Okay. Hanging in there. Thank, Thank you. you. Rear windows that face to the north are frameless. And that is the absolute first thing I want to check out. I used to refer to this as a million dollar view. I think it's a lot more north of a million dollar view right now. But look at this. Look to the north. And I've said this in our prior parade videos, but truly, Simba, everything that the sun touches. Beautiful fireplace, um, pool. I wish it was Infinity Edge, but I think that still looks pretty incredible. So let's go in this direction first, and then we'll check out the other side of this house. Look how massive these doors are. Yeah, this house is over 7,000 square feet, and it's a four bed, four and a half bath. It's like a speakeasy feel. What could this room be? Like a hangout area with a bar? Mm -hmm. Access straight to the pool. If, you, if you're hosting a party, that'd be a great, great area to entertain. Yeah. And check this out. There is a, there's an ensuite that also doubles as a pool bath. Really cool cabinets in here. This vanity looks like nothing we've seen before. And take a look at the shower. There's penny tile from the bottom all the way to the top. And this room is so massive that this TV kind of just blends into it, but I think it's over 100 inches. Although gone are the days with impressing somebody with the inches of your TV. Some really cool built-ins on this wall. <clears throat> and this window, it is tinted, so you can't see in from the courtyard, but you can just walk by and see what's going on in the front of your property. Let's check out this bedroom. It's a proper bed for this setup. This room also has a slider that takes you out towards the pool. Really thick edge, matchbook edge on the outside of the counter has a really proper size shower and a really nice closet with some built-ins. I love when the builders do this in auxiliary bedrooms. It's often to see these this level of finishes in the closet in the primary suite, but this home has it all. Look at all the murals. I don't know if it's wallpaper, but I really love these subtle touches on the walls. This room also has an ensuite with a closet with some really nice built-ins. And this penny tile is in like diced up little squares that goes all the way into the shower. And the shower, of course, is massive and it has 
some really cool brick looking tile it goes all the way to the ceiling. Rose gold, uh, rose gold fixtures in here. Notice that it's not brushed, it's shiny rose gold. This area has access, I guess it's been the theme of this parade where your casino or the mother-in-law suite has exterior access and it's basically a mini house within a house. So you have a bedroom that's attached to the smaller living room slash kitchen area. It's basically a one bedroom apartment again. The views to the south, you got the view of the new beautiful temple right through this window, which is a huge hit around here. It lights up at night. It is a really cool thing to have as a portion of your view. Because I don't care who you are, whether you're religious or not, that's just beautiful beautiful piece of architecture that also has a very significant value in this local community. Some really nice built-ins with uh, some cabinets and essentially you know, just a microwave you don't want for somebody to stay over here and cook fish in a frying pan. I could make some popcorn or a microwave dinner. Beautiful full-size bath that's attached to it and then that is connected to a proper size closet with a stackable laundry set and then that lets you back into this main hallway. So this kind of concludes the guest wing of this home and now we're going to pass through the living room again. Let's check out the kitchen a little bit. Hello friends, I hope that you're enjoying this video as much as we enjoyed making it. There's truly only one thing that we enjoy more than making these videos, and that's hearing from you. So if you're watching this video and you're thinking that St. George might be a great place for you, or maybe you're thinking about relocating somewhere else in Southern Utah, or the entire state of Utah for that matter, please reach out to us. We would absolutely love to be of service to you. Our contact information is in the description below this video, as well as a link to reserve a time in our calendar for an obligation-free meeting so we can chat and see if we could be a good fit for each other and if Southern Utah is right for you. Without further ado, let's get back to this video. It's funny how in every home people usually just congregate in the kitchen. So even if it's a parade, usually that's where most people just hang out. Look at this. That was a cool feature. I've never seen like a wood break up the countertop. Look at these views. So as you're hosting a party or entertaining, this is what you get to see. I absolutely love the look of these frameless rear windows that face to the north because how could this view ever get old? This almost looks like a Chanel logo on the on the fridge. Look at this built in. And so we go this way that takes us to the garage. Let's check out the butler pantry. I have a feeling it's gonna be impressive. This is Butler Pantry Com comfortably accommodates one, two, three, four, five, six people. I'll be number seven in here. Quad oven, so you've got double of double ovens in here. You have a second sink, which is really cool to have. The second dishwasher, which is extra cool to have. And as you look this way, you still have a pantry that could stay this neat because it's huge. And the pantry also opens the door to the hallway that takes you into the garage, which is I absolutely love when these beautiful homes are not only beautiful, they're also super functional. So we'll come back to that hallway when we're ready to exit. Let's go check out the primary bedroom because we've seen the other three bedrooms. And this is a really cool touch too. Look at, look at the hardware on these cabinets. It's, it's lockable, so you can lock your china and display some fancy stuff. I don't know, it doesn't look like it's lockable with a key, it just has that really heavy duty look. Yeah. So directly back here is a laundry room that's attached to the primary suite. We'll exit through there, we'll do a full loop. And this office just looks like an executive office you know you've got a little area where you could work and take in these views to the north you have a table that could accommodate a small board meeting i absolutely love all the cladding and the finishes on these walls lots of texture that's what we've been seeing in this parade too is you see a lot of texture on the walls things that 
bring in this place and make it more, more interesting is all these textures that play really nicely together. I think the designers on this home have done an incredible job because you see it through the cabinets, see it through the cladding on the walls, you see it through the walls in a hallway. It's not a single boring wall in this house. Great placement for a large mirror so you can check yourself out. And the owner's suite kind of wraps around so you get a chance to take advantage of these views. Massive fireplace. Absolutely everything about this room is grand. Check out this fireplace. That's like a living room sized fireplace. Have a massive framed in shower with a standalone tub. Check out this. I just want to know that you can comment below what would be your excuse to skip cardio if it came this easy? What would be your reason to say I couldn't do 20 minutes of cardio today if it was literally right there? And nonetheless, with these views, and also check out the mirrors. So as you look at these mirrors directly in front of your uh, cardio equipment, you can see the views behind. They're like literally submerged 360. These countertops have a matchbook on the outside edge, and there's also a matchbook on the front that kind of frames off all the cabinets below. They're also heated which feels really nice on your feet. This Louis Vuitton closet. And this little folding area, which is really cool. So you could fold everything right here, neatly organized on these shelves. And this is exactly where you wash it because your main laundry room of this home is attached to the owner suite. You have elevated appliances with some drawers and cabinets underneath to organize your cleaning supplies, a good sized sink with more um, countertop space around it and more cabinets. It's really cool wallpaper. Yeah, so see how you don't, you don't have to bend over to load stuff into your front loader. I think it's really awesome when the builder thinks of these things ahead of time as the home was built which of course is something that you would anticipate in a home of this magnitude. Yeah, you bet, we'll definitely thank you for it. Oh yeah, we haven't checked out this fireplace. I wanna show you guys this living room a little bit more. It's got some logs in it and it's a gas fireplace. You don't have to worry about bringing in the actual logs in your house. Let's go check out the garage. And that is the half bath right there. It's cool how that cabinet got cut for it. Check out the detail in this mud room. You have these little organized closets where you can hang stuff and organize shoes. That is so neat. This door takes you back into the pantry. And this garage is of course massive. So as we kind of loop around here, I'll show you guys how much you could fit in here. So the garage is kind of L-shaped where you have your double bay and a triple bay on this side or a single bay and a double bay. And they do go pretty deep. Somebody's baking cookies in here, smells so good. So this is like an oversized three car garage on this side. It feels like it's larger than a three car. Probably fit four cars or three cars sideways conveniently. When people say a three car garage, this is what I usually expect, but normally it's much smaller. And <laughs> uh, check this out. The RV garage is so big that you could actually fit a sprinter in here at an angle. Check this guy out. Up there. You don't mind? Oh, sure, absolutely. Look at this. Michonne and I have actually been in the market for way too long for one of these. 
What do you guys think? Class B or Class C? Look at the front. Can you live with this? Oh yeah. Okay, 200K later. Another one behind it. Oh, you fit two of these in here? Yeah. That's so cool. Thank you for sticking around that far into this video. If you're seriously considering moving into this area, maybe you're thinking about building a custom home, we would absolutely love to be a resource to you. We have a great relationship with so many custom home builders in Southern Utah. We have a long list of general contractors that we would recommend. We have an even longer list of general contractors that we would recommend you avoid. If we could be of service to you, please feel free to reach out to us. Our contact information is in the description below this video. And there's a link for Calendarly so you could hop on our schedule for a quick call if that's the route you'd like to go. And as always, please give this video a thumbs up so the algorithm can suggest it to more people. And if you haven't already subscribed, please make sure to smash the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our future videos. That's a sweet barbecue setup. We'll have to chat with these guys after. So you've got your garage area, you can fit your mountain bikes or whatever you want. Got some massive rigid lights on the top. I don't know how our YouTube channel is turning into a van channel, but this thing is sick. Look, you can still comfortably transport four people in here, captain's chairs, turn around. I don't know, you can sleep four people, I guess, in bunks. That is a really cool setup. Anyway, let us know what you guys think. What would you park in this garage? You could clearly park two Sprinter vans comfortably at an angle, a couple of supercars. If you're interested in purchasing this home or any home in St. George, Utah, please reach out to us. Our contact info is in the description below this video.